I'm just going to go through a reset of Windows 8.1. The Windows 8.1 reset is essentially a clean installation. However, there are a few additional advantages over the clean installation. The first one is for a retail install, your product key is automatically input. Moreover, your Microsoft product activation for a retail or OEM install will remain intact after performing a reset. And finally, the Windows 8.1 reset offers a means of wiping the drive, which is superior. To begin the reset, right-click the Windows Start button, select Shutdown or Sign Out, and left-click Restart while holding down the Shift key. This will open this menu, which will present you with the following options. Select Troubleshoot, and then select Reset Your PC. In order to carry out the reset, you'll need Windows 8.1 installation media, preferably in a bootable USB. And I instruct how to prepare the bootable USB in another tutorial video. Because I'm using a virtual machine, I'm just going to load the Windows 8.1 Professional ISO as the virtual CD DVD drive. And now, once the media is inserted, you'll be told what the reset does, and then you can select next to proceed. In the next screen, you'll be given two options. The first one, just remove my files, and the second one, to clean the drive fully. The first one deletes all your files using the standard Windows format, i.e. it essentially assigns your previous files as free hard drive space and recovery programs can readily recover such data. And also malware, spyware, and viruses and all such fun programs can usually withstand such a weak format and immediately reinfect your reset system. If you select clean the drive fully on the other hand, it again assigns their own files to free space, but then it overwrites them with junk data. Most malware, viruses, spyware, and the likes can't recover from this, and most recovery programs will struggle recovering your data once it's been overridden. Select Next and the reset will begin. It may take some time to wipe your drive. Once the reset has wiped your drive, you'll be prompted for your region and language. It should use your defaults from before. Select Next or Change Accordingly. Then you'll be prompted to accept the license terms. And now you'll be prompted to personalize your PC, give it a computer name, customize your settings or use the default settings, and then you'll be prompted for a new user account. Windows will have forgotten your previous computer name and previous user accounts because you've performed the reset. Your settings will finalize and then your apps will install. And then you'll be logged into the Windows desktop once you sign in. Right click the start button and select programs and features. You should notice that no programs or features are installed. Right click the start button and select system and you should notice that Windows is still activated. If you've been particularly observant, you'll have noticed that Windows was offline during this reset. So product activation has been retained opposed to the product reactivated. Now all the system drivers will need to be reinstalled with the chipset drivers being installed first. 